different ways <laughs> because I don't remember which way to hold it. We're with uh, Elbonius. He's brought us to a secret fruit spot for fancy folks. Oh, we're to the busiest restaurant in Shibuya. The busiest. I've never even seen this here. And pancake. Strawberry sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, I true. see those all over the place. <laughs> I bet they're the most gas here. I'm definitely getting this. Okay. Mm, this chocolate thing looks. Nobody. <laughs> I actually rented this out for you. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. It's quite it's quite the welcome. <laughs> Me and Elbow only hang out in Japan. Oh, yeah, exactly. Our parfait. Well my parfait breakfast was amazing. It's always good when you start your day off with ice cream. Elbow secret spot where all the old people eat. Oh. Do, you, do you know who, who he is? Uh, I do not. It looks like a ninja, but I don't know his name. Yeah, but he's a ninja. Oh, uh, he has a name? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what is his profession? A ninja? He's a yeah. secret spy. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yep. Okay. Do, do, do you know some ninja poses? Or? Do I know ninja yeah, poses? Yeah, do you have <laughs> ideas? They're trying to line me up right now. I, I don't know any ninja poses. I mean, I know none. Well, he I think he definitely he's got knows. all. The, I think he definitely knows. My man's got all the ninja. I have none. I have. I don't this know. is this. So just I know that one just because I see it. So can, can you do any poses? Nah, <laughs> you're not getting me fear. I can just see. I can see the graphic popping across the screen. Oh, American does ninja pose, and then all of a sudden my fat ass is out there like, yeah. yeah. Nope, not happening, bro. Talk to my agent, dog. They're wild, and she was so bummed. The razor blades at our table. Elbow said he'd never had gyoza in Harajuku. You're not going to be able to hear any of this, but... Lobster roll. It's, this is out of uh, tradition. Because the first time that I came to that dumpling spot, uh -huh. I got a lobster roll beforehand. Just straight tradition. Oh yeah, here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here scamming, dog. <laughs> Dog, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's making my life so fucking easy now. <laughs> Going to an arcade because Elbow has challenged me to a claw game of sorts. A claw game I've never played. But as some people know, I am a master of all claw game, so it's gonna be no problem. We're coming out with a W without us breaking a sweat. We'll see. It's gonna be no problem. It's easy. This is how I won the love of Alex. It's your boy. <laughs> Just letting them know they can stop me from filming, but they can't stop me from winning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shits are crazy. They're on fire though. <laughs> 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 fire squad. This <laughs> guy put us on to some wild shit. Mm. We're out here cruising, dog. Hard as you cruising. Hard as you cruising. Cruising. Everybody got shoes with me. I got real feet. <laughs> I'm up. <laughs> Harajuku's cool, kind of over it, but uh, we hung out with the man Skalak. I don't know how to say it, Skalak. He blessed me with the hoodie. It's OG, OG, if you don't know about Skalak. Um, look it up, but he's OG bathing a early, early Nigo Harajuku OG. And uh, we chopped it up like all day. Shout out to Elbow for the introduction. Hung out, did, a, did our thing. Had a lax day, even though we still fucking walked like nine miles the last time I checked. So it wasn't that lax. Beautiful fucking weather, like the most perfect weather that we've had. I'm starving. I got 
My chips are sold out everywhere. I have, I think this is the same brand, but I don't know what the fuck these are. Well, these are crazy. They're like curry barbecue. I'm gonna eat these chips and then I'm probably gonna go out to eat. I got a couple of recommendations. So I wasn't worried, but I got a couple of recommendations. Uh, Gyoza Muro, which came highly recommended. This shit was dumb fire. So good. All the food here is so good. You gotta basically be looking for some bad shit to find it. But Skalak put us on. He said we were staying in Dababa. Go there. And he was not wrong. And I almost didn't go there because of the line. And they definitely don't have an English menu. But Gyoza works, dog. And the older lady there speaks English. Which was surprising. I just went there last night, came back and just crashed. Speaking of crashes, there is a typhoon headed towards Tokyo. The entire city is preparing for said typhoon. I don't really know what to do about it. There's not much for me to do. I was gonna just hop on the bullet train and get out of town, but I don't really know where to go. I'm pretty tired. Uh, yesterday was supposed to be kind of casual and it wasn't that casual because we walked around and kicked it so much. Today, oh, my arm is even tired. Today, I am going to try to go see the Joker, keep it kind of mellow, figure out what my next move is gonna be and uh, get ready, ow! Get ready for the fucking typhoon. I don't know that this neighborhood is one that's like affected greatly, but uh, anyway. A typhoon is a typhoon. Probably not a chill situation. Something about me and tropical storms we have a uh, magnetism. The magnetism. I had these snacks last night. Whew, man, these chocolate ball things. I feel like I've had them, but I threw them away. I don't know. American snacks are awful compared to the snacks here in Japan. It's just a fact of life at this point. The uh, ever so popular Choco Flakes from the last trip. So this is Choco Flakes and grapes. But also like a little red wine maybe, or I guess that's white wine. A little white wine Choco Flake. But these are ridiculously strange. <laughs> I don't necessarily love them. I don't know. And there's another one that's like almond something. I haven't tried those. I thought this was churro flavored. It's not. It's like mesquite barbecue. So that was a surprise. These chips, same company that has the chips I like. So I just keep copping from them until I find the chips I want again. These are the Goku, the Goku new. These just taste like baked potatoes, basically. I think it's getting close to the time where we can get out of here. I try not to, trying to avoid train. Yeah, it's 9.20. We're good. 7 to 9 a.m. is awful. I think closer to 10, it gets a little more chill. I'm gonna head to Shinjuku, the next neighborhood over. Pretty much. See what's up with movie times. Grab something to eat. Take it easy. Be breezy. So we got tickets for 12.35. It's like 11.15. One thing to note, <laughs> that ticket is $49. Uh, I'm pretty sure I screwed, well, I didn't screw up, but there was like these select seats and then the recliner seats, I'm pretty sure they charge you more money for, like an extra 30 bucks. Hopefully it was worth it, because I don't think I've ever had to pay 50 bucks to go see a movie before. We just stopped in that little ramen spot. I don't know the name of it. I have no idea. Anyway. It was okay, not my favorite. Got the fish broth. When I get a fishy broth, it's just noodles all day. I get through it, I finish it to the point where at least it looks like I finished it and then I move on with my life. So we got like an hour before this expensive ass movie starts. So I'm gonna keep cruising, probably find some more snacks. You know, I'm doing, ooh, that's the first Sprite I've seen. see me we're leaving the joker um i thought it was okay i thought that it was really beautiful really haunting the acting is amazing i love joaquin phoenix pretty much in everything but also just kind of boring you know what i mean like i get it it's not like an action movie by any means but some of the some of it just felt like drawn out and kind of boring and a little too uh what's the word like uh staging you know like uh theater theater staging for film cinema if you will i don't know but it was pretty good if you're a super batman nerd you're gonna have a bat boner the entire time because there's nothing but easter eggs clues and little things that get your fucking bat 
barometer boiling, but uh, I give it like, I give it six stars. I'm gonna cruise around Shinjuku, hit the art store. Oh, also the $50 seat was totally not worth it. But <laughs> I mean, the rest of the seats are regular and you get a recliner, but a 50 pop, that's crazy. In Japan, that's normal, or in the US, that's normal. It's like 17 bucks and the whole theater is recliners. In this theater, there's only like 12 seats and those are the recliners. I'm going to uh, head over, I'm gonna head over to the art store, grab a couple of things, and then probably head back to my room for a little bit. And then we still have to decide if we're gonna stay in town for this uh, typhoon. Back out in the- In 100 meters, you will arrive at your destination. Bucks. You really can't beat that. $18. It's basically dollar sushi. So, I mean, definitely not like uh, the most top quality in the world. It's fast. You can eat a bunch of it and 18 bucks, homie. I mean, and they're all over the place. So, you can find you one. That one was actually pretty good. Some of them are kind of trash. That one was solid. I'm gonna keep walking. I can still eat some more. You know what it is. You already know. It's starting to rain though. Typhoon's coming. So I haven't decided what we're gonna do about that. All right, so good afternoon. I don't even remember where we left off yesterday. Probably eating food. Oh yeah, I went back to that fire ass dumpling spot. Gyoza Sumiro, Takado no Baba. You gotta check it out. So we're staying for the storm. We've decided we're not going anywhere. My mother is losing her fucking mind. So everybody just pray for my mom. Tokyo, I think will be fine, but my mom might lose it before then. It's raining a little bit, but so far it's whatever. That noise behind me is me washing my clothes. Um, I was gonna head out and go to like Kyoto or something, but it's just a lot. I spent, I just gonna spend a lot of money just to go out there, not be there for long enough to really do much, and then turn around and come back, and then go back out there when Ern gets here. So I'll just wait it out. I'm drawing, I've. Realize these trips, you know, it's like, at first it's like, go, 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 go. And then I burn myself out. Like the whole time I'm walking around doing one thing, I wish I was doing something else. I get inspired and then I can't draw <laughs> because I'm out and about doing shit. By the time I get home, I don't feel like drawing. It's kind of perfect that there's a storm. Can't really go do much. Shit is gonna be crowded as hell, I bet. I was thinking about going to see this Basquiat exhibit at the Mori today. I maybe go get lunch, go to the Mori, Go, we'll go get snacks in case we get in case we get snacked in here. Come back here and chill and take it easy and wait for the storm and see what happens. Like we're gonna be here for it. Bo show. I've thought about Joker more. I like the movie more than the more I think about it. I think there's aspects of it. I don't know. You know what? I don't like talking about movies because then you just come off like this fucking know it all about movies and shit and you break it down scene by scene and then the director could just be like, well, this is why it didn't. they could explain it. But I guess that's what movies are is where you don't have to explain it. Anyway. Um, the more I think about the movie, the more I like it. It's still kind of, it's still pretty slow. Like it's a good origin story, but I feel like there was a movie that existed after this. You know, like a, I don't necessarily want a part two, but if there was a part one where the storyline was, took place after this, and this movie came out as a second movie, as an origin story, I think it would play better. I don't know, I just want more from it. Not that I want Joker versus Batman, but I do sort of, want to see Joker be more Joker. I don't know. It's whatever. It's a movie. It's good enough. But I'm changing my star rating. I'm changing it. Yesterday, I think I said I gave it like a six. I'm giving it an eight. I'm giving it an eight. I'd also like to just add that I don't believe in rating things. So you should just see the movie and decide for yourself. <laughs> But it's good, especially since comic book movies are really annoying now. It's funny because Martin Scorsese said that they're not cinema. Basically, my man was with Todd Phillips was like, bet, because it's definitely cinematic. Yeah, so that's what's up. That's what we're doing. I drew this big ass dragon yesterday, <laughs> this morning. Bought these scroll papers. Gonna do some dragons. This is my dragon scroll series, hurricane dragon scroll series. Oh, typhoon, hurricane dragon typhoon series. I'm doing here on very thin rice paper maybe i guess it's rice paper i'm not sure it's kind of late it's afternoon get out of here we might not even make it to the museum we found the coca-cola apple it's actually close to my house it's pretty good it's okay 
It's crazy. I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. Finally made it back to the Mori. I got super lost because I wasn't paying attention and we went to the basically almost to the wrong Mori. My team labs by accident, so we pretty much rode around in a big ass circle for an hour, but now we're at the museum. Uh, doesn't look like it's gonna be crazy packed, but you never know. I'll let you know in like 75 seconds. Okay, so that was the Mori. We saw the Basquiat exhibit, and I don't know the name of the other one. Both are cool. I mean, Basquiat, I really like Basquiat, just like most people. But uh, if nothing else, Basquiat is proof that you should just make art and not really give a fuck because people are gonna like whatever they like. Some of that shit is whatever. Still, I love him as an artist. But uh, this kid is down here breakdancing soon. I'm getting all the clips. Other exhibit was cool, strings and things. That's what I'm gonna call it. That was expensive. That was like 40 bucks also. Ran through it pretty quick. It's not busy, so that's good. If you remember, we came here for Hokusai and it was crazy expensive. Or, I mean, crazy, crazy weight lines. So, uh, what was crazy expensive was the sushi that I got around here. I was thinking about going back to, but I'm not, because that was like a $300 dinner, lunch, when me, at me and, when me and Alex had it. So, I'm probably gonna get out of here. I'm probably gonna head back towards my crib, go get some ramen, head home, go to the store, get prepared for the storm, maybe relax a little bit. I'm kind of crushed, dog. My fucking legs and body hurt walking so much. But uh, yeah, hey, this kid is still down here crushing it. Let's see if we can find some fucking ramen or maybe the train is close there and we'll find ramen when we get back. Oh, there's also a guy Yukaku or Yukaku near the house. Go try that. Training. We're headed to Apuda. Pretty much the update. We got our own brother. Well, it's starting, that's for sure. That river is like fucking moving, boy. Procrastinated a little bit. Well, I didn't mean to, but when I went out last night to get dinner and I was gonna get snacks and supplies, ugh, all the grocery stores were crazy. All the 7-Elevens were fucking crazy. Like, everything was nuts. People were ransacking. Um, so I gotta go out this morning and hope that they've restock or else your boy is going to be starving over the next 24 hours which won't be a big deal because i've eaten enough food in the last few days that i'm pretty sure <laughs> i could survive not eating for a day i don't want to because i'm a spoiled bitch all right yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna get some socks on hit these streets see what we can find before the shit shuts down we can't do anything you know what i'm saying gotta get it on it I don't even know what it looks like. I'm just supposed to trust this packaging. It's 10 bucks. Might need to get a little alcohol. Just in case, you know what I mean? Typhoon, might need to get that spritzer. You know what I'm saying? A little alcoholic beverage. All right, I don't know what else to get. I basically just have uh, potato chips. <laughs> and that's what I already have at the house too. <laughs> it's potato chips. We got some rain, for sure. We got sushi. I got the fried chicken one. Tuna and mayonnaise, I don't really want that. Salmon's probably fine, I don't want any of those. Egg and shrimp cutlet, I'm gonna pass. Chicken cutlet, I can do it. Whew. 
we're headed back out into the wilderness of the wet, the wet and wild wilderness. We need to see if we can get some more stuff. We don't have any candles. We don't have any fire. <clears throat> I would like to get something to eat that is actually normal. There is a couple of ramen shops that are open. So I might grab an early, early bowl of some real food, come back here and hunker down. I think by noon, it's supposed to like really start to pop off. I lost my umbrella already, unless there's one here. Did you leave one here, people? Fucking haters. All right, so we're headed back out. My shoes are full of water. How I miss the free hikers. Wouldn't be happening. Five cheese bun. Here's a fun fact. These big wrappers like this, like this, they are designed like that so you can eat and not show your face. See, you can cover up your face while you eat. I got another umbrella. We're back in business. All right, we got a lot more supplies at the Peacock. And the Peacock looks like it's popping. They don't, they look like they're gearing up for a full day. We might be able to go back over there during the storm. Everything looks like it's opening up now. It's like a couple of places have signs on the doors and I can't tell if they say they're closed or they just open late today. I don't really know. Um, but right now we got to take our latest bounty back to the crib. Then we're going to head out and see if we can actually get some sit down food real quick. And then we'll probably head home for the day. I don't know though. It's kind of nice walking around in this rain, this storm. There's a lot less people, but it is also a lot more wet. See, I'm just interested to know if things are going to operate or not. Like, will I be able to... The train is running? Look at that. Back out here for our third installment. Oh, shit. Wallet. Third installment of storm chasing. This umbrella popping song. Yo, let's go. Ella. Come out here Rihanna and see if anything's opened up or closed down. Places that were open look like they're closing. There is no candles. I couldn't find any. And Toshi hit me up and said, a couple of places are evacuating old people already. Not to worry. <laughs> so here we are, chilling, not worrying. I have absolutely no idea what he said. It's uh, three o'clock. was fun so far i'm going a little stir crazy the storm is storming we're still in the mix but now we're gonna go get in the mix it's not quite typhoon time i guess the latest forecast is 6 p.m uh the announcement i think i figured out is just for old people they evacuate old people like hey old people shit's about to get serious we love you you're slow as fuck you should probably get a head start is what that whole thing. If they find this footage and I'm dead because of a massive flood, it'll be hilarious because I'll be one of those old people. But we're gonna go uh, out into the water like motherfucking Kevin Costner. We're gonna see what's good. Cause we're not afraid of a little dampness. But we're gonna have to cop a new umbrella. This one's already fucked up. Got the umbrella, got the fucking ratchet wallet. Phone is in my hand, got cash. Do we have the key? Yep, we do. Perfect. I swear to God, it's sitting in that room. It's so small. How the sound right there is terrible. It's so small. My fucking legs start cramping up. <laughs> I feel like I can't stretch. Into the storm we go. Into the waters. Must voyage into the waters. Let's see if there's any fish on the sidewalk. So as you can tell, Rip Roaring Rap is around here, boy. I would also like to note that I would like to collaborate with a Japanese brand and build a jacket that has a built-in umbrella that pops out. Carrying an umbrella around kind of sucks. It's annoying. If this just popped, look at this rock. If it just popped out of my jacket, shit would be lit, son. Yoji Yamamoto, see this. You know what I'm saying? Umbrella jacket. It'd be good. Woo. Cats and dogs, boy. Fucking crazy out here. Doesn't seem like it. And then one second it's fine. And then the next second there's just a crazy ass gust of wind that always knocks you over. Definitely like blowing out the fucking umbrella for sure. Most everything is closed. Oh shit, is that spot open? No way. This little noodle, this little spot over here looks like it's open. And the, the yukaku is above it i don't know i mean there's definitely someone in there eating i don't know what they have 
to cross the street and walk over there. I don't know what this is. It's like tempura rice and noodles. No clue what we ordered, like at all. Zero. It's not amazing, but it was amazing because that was the first like hot food we got today. And it was, you know, once you add enough spice to any soup, it gets cracking. I mean, it's better than any American, just regular ass soup that I could get on the fly during a tropical storm. So that was clutch. Well, I went to bed at like 8 30, 9 o'clock. I don't know. I went to bed early. I tried to watch El Camino and I fell asleep. We're back to somewhat normal out here. The rain has stopped. It's looking like a pretty nice day out so far. Uh, I know some other parts got hit pretty hard, but we did pretty good over here. And I did not eat <laughs> even a portion of my snacks. Because you know what? Eating candy and potato chips is really fun when you're a kid. But there's only so much of it I can do as an adult. So after like two bags of chips, you know, three pieces of candy or whatever, chocolate, I was like, okay, this sucks. I don't want to eat this. So all I really ate yesterday was the soup. We've been storing calories this trip. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I did not edit yesterday. So I should probably do that right now. It's foggy, the heat, fucking A. In case y'all don't remember this place, this is where I stayed last time. This shit's blurry again. New York City, Comic Con, that's what's going on. I've been home for a few days, so I haven't vlogged. There was nothing to really vlog about. My parents' house is not thrillingly exciting, but uh, Comic Con should be. So about 9.30 a.m., we're in our hotel. Gotta go set up today. Got a bunch of Teddy work to do on the computer. Day one, Comic Con ends. Yes, I didn't vlog at all today. I told him, I told him as soon as, as, soon as he came, I said, are you not gonna vlog at We're at this show, and he was like, no dude, I for sure got it. I for sure got it. Look, well, well, tonight's vlog is gonna be, you know, we've all seen Comic-Con before, but tonight what we're gonna see is what goes on in the streets after Comic-Con. <laughs> oh, shit. This was thought out. Everyone's leaving. Adrian is injured. He fell off an electric skateboard at 16 miles per hour. You to tell him I saved a baby. While saving a baby. So yeah, here we are in these streets, post Comic-Con day one. Well, I gotta tell you guys, it hasn't been as exciting as I thought it would be. I really wanted to vlog and uh, give some stories, do some Comic-Con stuff, but I don't know. There's just, you know, how many times can I show you guys people in costume? And this shit's definitely cool, but I don't know. I feel like there just, there hasn't been a story, there hasn't been anything too interesting. I haven't really had a chance to walk around because I've been working like 10 hour days. There's some nightclub going on in the hotel tonight. I could hit that up if I get drunk enough. I was thinking of doing like a drunken vlog tonight, but honestly I don't even feel like drinking. So obviously just heard the news about Derek a day or two ago, which is very sad. I actually met some fans today at Comic-Con, fans of the vlog that were asking about Derek. It's cool to see, you know, how much of an impact somebody could have. I wish, I wish he knew the kind of impact that he had. It's sad, real sad thing, real tragic. Definitely brings the mood down a little bit too, so you know. 
know, always a fucking funny, cool dude, always a big fan of Coheed. Makes me, you know, while I'm out here with these guys, think about him because he was always talking about rock music and always asking me questions about who did what backstage and what guitarist people like. Happy, bright face to see when you'd enter the shop, no matter what he was doing. If he was fucking cleaning up garbage, he'd be laughing, you know? I don't really know what else to say with that stuff. I know people are doing a GoFundMe. I'm definitely going to donate to that in the morning. I hope for the best for his family. We'll see, we'll see where this night goes, but, uh, can't promise anything. Not sure if this footage will be any good or not. Not really sure what I'm doing. But what I can tell you is I'm getting my phone charger, charging my phone, and I'm gonna walk to Taco Bell. Because that's what I feel like doing, because I forgot to eat dinner tonight. That's just what happened. And I ended up drinking a lot. So I figure we're in the streets of New York. I can't promise anything. I found my phone charger. I'm not focused here. I'll be right back. Okay, I forgot the camera. I also, although you guys can't feel the time difference, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's been about 10 minutes. I went and I got a sub, because I don't wanna go to Taco Bell right now. It's got way too far once I got out there. So I got this sub. I also, I also purchased some cheese fries. A New York style sub, you know what I mean? We'll check back with you while we eat in it. Well, that's the sub, $17 worth of a, I mean, I don't know. Oh boy, they seems to be lacking here, but uh, Wackest sub I ever had. I wish I went to Taco Bell. Ah. Live again from the end of Comic Con for the day. Not much to see here, folks. Not much to see at all.